Good morning. So one thing I forgot about in uh, the previous videos I've done with the EV6 was this. You can actually plug this into your Kia via the J1772 uh, charge port and you can use it as a, there's, there's a technical term, I don't know, but use the car as a battery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this into the EV6 and try and charge the Tesla. So let's see what we can do. Let me get some uh, battery stats for you guys on both cars and uh, I don't want that to fall. Hang on real fast, we'll grab those. Okay, so here we are on the EV6. We're at 54% state of charge, uh, 65 degrees outside. Not that that means anything. We, we now have a blistering 878 miles on the car. Uh, kind of neat, it's at 135 miles uh, remaining on the uh, high voltage pack. So with a 270 something mile uh, projected EPA range, at 54%, that's uh, pretty much right on the money still. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure why that's pretty cool, but um, it is. It's way too young for battery degradation at this point. So we're gonna jump into the Tesla, and uh, which does have a little battery degradation. So let's get the numbers off of that, standby. Boy, it's been a minute since we've done a video on this car. So we are at 69% uh, state of charge, and this bad boy has, how many miles we got on this thing? Oops, there it went. Almost 14,000. This car is fantastic, man. I love this Tesla so much, and I have an appointment on April 17th for a little bit of a wrapping job. Not a full body wrap, uh, just a few hit and miss pieces here and there. Just trying to jazz it up a little bit. I don't like looking like everybody else, which is why I at least have the uh, fender hash marks. So, now with all the babble, let's get this Kia set up. I'll be right back. As long as the car is unlocked, give her a tap on the ass. There we go. Same with the Tesla. So, We'll grab our little 1772 here. This really helps with two hands. So we'll take that and right into the charge port there. Hang on. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. So you squeeze the sides, that opens up, and then you can see in there is your standard 100 and something whatever plug-in. So maybe I can. This is just hard rubber right here, just so the you know, the, the cord can come through a dust cover, if you will. So we're gonna plug that into there. Okay. I'm not even gonna bother closing that dust port. And then we'll turn it on. And we know it's on because our Tesla mobile connector has lit up. Blinky, blinky, blinky. I just heard the contactor on that click. And holy smokes, we are charging. So let's see what this looks like. One kilowatt at 12 amps. Six hours and 25 minutes to go from 69%. I believe I have it set to 80. So, I mean, that's kind of cool actually. Let's see what the Kia is telling us. Ugh. The transfer at one and a half kilowatts. Huh, that's the only thing on the screen. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I was super bored sitting around the house all day. I didn't have anything to do, which is a rarity for me. So then, uh, you know, nine o'clock at night, I figured, hey, let's go do this. So let me get you guys flipping around one more time. Okay, so, ah, if I don't fall. So you would not be able to close this dust cover. This is designed for something that comes straight out, or obviously this is at an angle, and it just simply will not close, but whatever. And then it's showing you ticking off some battery drainage there. And again, we're totally charging. All spooled up onto the floor, right into the Tesla. 
So there you go. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to do a big um, uh, DC fast charge with it. There are four new Electrify America, no, charge point chargers down at the Sundial Bridge. And uh, they just went in a couple days ago. I stopped by there today after I saw them and they are up and running. And if I had the damn CCS adapter for the Tesla, I would have plugged it in there just to check it out. But I had the wife run down her car, no charging. So we'll do a little moderate, uh, you know, essentially 50% to like 90, I guess. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. I wish the car was more like at 10% because then we could do a real good fast charge on it. But it'll be cool to play with that charger and see what it does. And uh, I hope you guys found this informational. Drop me a like, let your friends know, hit the subscribe button. Oh God, we'll see you guys tomorrow.